Shakib Alhassan's anger issue has once again come into limelight where he refused to play a game and because of that probably he was right here but because of that his team lost a potential championship in a T20 league itself let me explain more to you in this video please do click on the subscribe icon and see here let's get started three simple things that i want to brief you first let's look at the points table of the global T20 Canada league Shakib was leading the franchise called Bangla Tigers and also see where Toronto Nationals is over here So as per this points table, Shakib's team is above this team in the points table. So in case of anything that happens further in the tournament, say like rain, washout, or unavoidable circumstance, since his team is higher on the points table, his team should march to the next level. So this is the base concept that we all know, right? So keeping it pause over here, moving into what actually happened in the eliminator. So the eliminator was between Shakib's team and Toronto Nationals, and a lot of rain was happening that day. So literally, literally, it was very difficult for the umpires to have a game, but they figured out a window wherein they can just have one super over game that can happen. But I believe we all know that there needs to be a certain overs played, like say five overs, before a super over can actually be played in a T20 format. But since that day, any over was not played before that, right? So Shakib, as a captain, as a smart captain, always would think that. If I play a super over right now, because the umpires are asking me to do, and also Shakib was not happy because the boundaries were a bit short and because there was a lot of water in that boundary area, so all those things were there. So probably Shakib just thought that if I refuse to play this game, I, my team, since it's higher on the points table, my team will go into the next level. So probably this is a smart decision taken by Shakib as a captain, and then he said to the umpires that he is not going to play the game. So I'll pause it over here. And then what the umpire surprisingly did is that, despite all these laws being very clear, they used this law stating that a captain refused to play the game, and because of this, we are giving this game to the opposition skipper, which is Toronto Nationals. So pausing it yet again here, the Global T20 Canada League's chairman officially stated that this rule, wherein some overs needs to be played before the super over comes into picture in qualifier matches, is exempted, and this rule was always there in this league. And guess what? Toronto Nationals, which won the eliminator, won the second qualifier, and also the finals too. Leave in your thoughts. Share this with your friends. Subscribe and stay connected.